Today, NASA is continuing an almost 50 year mission of recording the Earth's land surface. NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey will launch the Landsat 9 satellite. Joining us this morning to talk more about it, Jeff Masick, who's a Landsat 9 project scientist. Morning, Jeff. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. First off, just tell us a little bit about the mission for people who may not know what this is all about. Sure. So Landsat is our longest live land remote sensing uh, system in the world. Uh, so we've been acquiring satellite imagery of Earth's land areas and coastal areas for the last 50 years. And at this point, we've amassed an archive of over 9 million images um, over that time period. And so we can use that archive to look at uh, changes in Earth's uh, ecosystems, coastal areas, forests, agricultural lands, ice sheets. Um, and it really provides an incredible baseline for looking at, at change on the planet. Such important work, and of course, I would imagine as the decades have gone on, the technology that you use to produce this work has gotten better and better. I would imagine Landsat 9 is state of the art. It is. Um, it's actually a sister satellite to Landsat 8, which we launched in 2013. Um, and so for the first time, we're going to have two uh, state of the art satellites on orbit at once. Uh, what that really provides us is global coverage every eight days, and so we can really track changes that are occurring uh, within seasons as well as across the decades. And, and over the years, it's provided uh, this, this project and this work has provided so many compelling and beautiful images, but like you said, it's just very important work as well. It gives us information about the planet we may not get anywhere else. Well, that's right. There's an old adage that uh, you can't manage what you haven't measured. Um, and in the, you know, it's true of your bank account, it's true of your business. It's also true of Earth resources. And so what Landsat provides us is an important management tool. So, for example, for agriculture and food security, we can identify the types of crops that are growing in each field. Uh, we can identify the health of those crops. We can look at forests and the disturbances that are affecting them and how those uh, forests recover from fires and, and hurricanes. Um, we can look at water quality. Uh, for example, harmful algal blooms that are a major uh, impact on drinking water quality can be detected early using some of these satellite data. What, what are some of the biggest changes or, or issues you, you've seen in, in these images and in this work since this project started in 1972? Well, it's interesting. Um, you know, we do see, certainly see an impact from both climate change as well as human, uh, direct human activities. We see uh, increasing urbanization um, because of rising population. Population has doubled over the last 50 years. Um, and uh, we also see areas, for example, at high latitudes where vegetation uh, growth has accelerated um, because of warming temperatures. Uh, we see areas in semi-arid uh, semi parts of the world where uh, there's been vegetation to decline or some species replaced others. So there's a lot of dynamics to the planet that's revealed by, a, by an archive like this. And if people do want to follow along with the work as the launch gets underway today and the work continues, uh, what's the best way to do that? Uh, both USGS and NASA have websites that are dedicated to Landsat, um, as well as USGS has the Earth Explorer website, where you can actually go and download the data. Uh, they're all free of charge, all 9 million scenes. Wonderful. Jeff Masick, Landsat 9 Project Scientist. Uh, Jeff, thanks so much for taking some time to talk with us today on a big, exciting, important day. Congratulations. Thank you. All right.